Okay guys, I'm going to do a bit of a video today on how to reconfigure your Coolmaster Net. So the beautiful thing about this product is that you can reconfigure it for different brands. Um, and when you unpack your Coolmaster and power it up, it'll show you this display. Um, it'll give you this card. Uh, this card actually... When you scroll down through the card, you'll see what the brands connect to in regards to their lines. And you can see all the different brands that are connecting to their lines. Um, you will also need the quick installation guide because as well as um, changing some, dip, um, some settings in the touch screen, which I'm going to go through with you now, we also have to change some dip switch settings as well. So, the first thing to notice with this, and you can see in the top left hand corner there, keep on going down, you can see DK. So this unit has been um, basically set up to work for a Dakin, and, and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to randomly pick a brand and we'll, um, we'll change that over. And if you just follow these key steps, um, you'll be able to change over to, to any other brand that you like. So... I suppose the first thing to do is we'll, we'll, we'll look, go through the quick installation guide. If, if we scroll down through this, it, it actually, the first, you know, it gives you a bit of a what's in the box. Um, uh, the Coolmaster Net, uh, pre-configured Coolmaster Net. And then it goes through all the different HVAC lines. Um, and then it starts. So in this case here, we've got HVAC Dakin VRV. Um, which this unit's already pre-configured. But let's um, let's go to Mitsubishi Electric VRF and let's let's change our Dakin to a Mitsubishi. So if you look down there, you'll see there's some dip switch settings, and in a second we'll go back to the Coolmaster Net and we'll change what were the Dakin settings to the Mitsubishi settings. But the first thing we need to do is go onto the screen and change the HVAC line on the screen. So, the first thing we do is the top left hand corner here, you'll see like a little setting bar. We'll press that setting bar and it'll bring up this screen and we need to go to HVAC lines. So HVAC lines we are and as we can see, L1 is Dakin, um, which this is pre-configured to. So we'll press L1 because if we go back up here, we'll see that Mitsubishi Electric is also on L1 as well. So let's go over to L1. And we will go to HVAC type, which in our case still Dakin. And hopefully it will bring us up to the page we want to. And we can see there that Dakin at the moment is in the on position. So what we want to do is flick Dakin into the off. So now it goes to unused, meaning there's no HVAC line picked. And we're going to pick ME, which is Mitsubishi Electric. And that is done as far as the touch screen is concerned. And as you can see up in the red there, it says warning, dip switch settings are not correct. And that's what we're going to go to next. So when we look on the page there at the moment, um, it only tells us that we're going to change P and Q because R and S should be all in the down position and that's correct when we look here at the moment um, r and s are all in the down but it's actually um, p and q that we need to change and in the case here all we need to do is change the bottom line if we look at the top line which is p we've got two on the on and two on the off which is the same with the mitsubishi but it's the q line that has changed and they're all in the off position where you can see down here, they're not in the all in the off position. So I will flick these over. Okay, so that now marries up um, with what's on our um, on our um, on our uh, computer screen. And all I need to do now is just re, re reset the power on this, and hopefully, if I've done it correctly, the top left hand corner should change from Dakin now. to Mitsubishi and Electric. And there you go guys, 
it's on Mitsubishi Electric. And that's how you change your pre-configured, whether it's Daikin to Mitsubishi Electric and so forth. And pretty much when you scroll down this page, it'll give you all the dip switching, dip switch settings for all the different brands. Very straightforward. One thing I also like to do, and my Cool Master Net box didn't come with it, but it does come with a little square full of little stickers for the different brands. And I will then change those little stick stickers over. So you can see that little DK sticker there, line one. Um, there'll be a row of ME stickers, so I'll take that little DK off and put an ME one there. Um, same thing with the back here. You can see that little DK on L1. I'll put a little ME there. Also, geez, sorry, I haven't ruined that. The same thing on the back of the box. You'll see that little DK there. I'll put a little ME there. And um, I think it's always good to do that. So when the end customer's pulling it out of the box, they know in confidence that it's it, it's the brand that they paid for. Um, but if you do miss that, I'm sure that once they power it up, it should hopefully come up in the left-hand corner there telling them the brand that they're after. I hope the video was a lot of help for you guys and I'll catch up with you soon.